Hi everyone, this is Laura Hammock from the Marble Jar channel and in today's video I'm doing a quick public service announcement for all the iPhone 6 users who experienced a massive slowdown after installing iOS 11. So I still have an iPhone 6, iPhones are expensive and there has really been no reason to upgrade except that I downloaded iOS 11 several months ago and my phone slowed to a crawl. Did this also happen to you? My phone is not my primary device. I use my iPad much more, but I use my phone when I'm out and about to check texts, to make appointments, and to check my to-do list. And all of these activities became so slow that it was almost pointless to even use my phone for anything other than just taking calls. So here are some actual real times that I clocked. It took 19 seconds to open an iMessage to view a text. It took 22 seconds to open Google Calendar, even longer to actually edit or add an appointment. It took 30 seconds to open a note in Evernote, and incoming calls would ring on my connected car speaker, but they wouldn't actually show up on the phone display to answer the call for six seconds. So irritating. Of course, I read that Apple was deliberately slowing down older phones to preserve battery life. There was also, eventually, an update fix coming. But until then, I had to do something. My phone was basically unusable, even for basic functions. So I tried a couple of things. First, manage storage. I have a 64 gigabyte phone. If you're using too much of your storage, you can experience a slowdown. So you go to settings, general, then iPhone storage, and then offload your photos to iCloud or to Google Photos. I actually take mine off my phone every three months delete videos, media that's attached to text, etc. You can look at all these recommendations that are given by Apple. You can actually review and delete your text me message attachments right here from this screen. So once I did this, the largest amount of storage was taken up by apps. So next I went to delete unused apps. So I did a giant spring cleaning of my phone and iPad to delete unused apps and organize the ones that I kept. You can view my video on that. And you can also turn off background refresh. So you should check to see which apps are updating even when you're not using them. This could slow down your phone. But in the end, even though these, these actions did help to clean up my phone, they didn't do very much to speed things up. So here's the thing that I did that actually helped quite a bit. I ordered a new battery. You can order a replacement battery from Apple for $30, have it sent to an Apple store, and they will install it without an appointment. So batteries used to be $80, but they lower the price by $50 as a concession for making our phones unusable. So here's what you do to order a new battery. You call this number, I'll also put it in the notes section below, to talk to Apple customer support. This might take a while. I was on hold for almost a half an hour, but once you get them on the phone, they will figure out exactly which battery you need, for your phone type and place the order for you. You're also gonna to need to tell them which Apple store that you want it sent to, and then you wait. Mine took four weeks to arrive, my friends took three, I'm not sure why there was a difference, but at any rate, once the battery reaches the Apple store, the store will call you to let you know that it has arrived. They will give you something like five days to come in to the store to have your battery installed. If you can't make it in that time frame, then they will actually send it back. You don't need an appointment, but you will need to block off a couple of hours. So next, show up at the store. They will take your phone for an hour or two while you wait. Then they will charge you the $30 afterwards. That covers both the battery and the installation. And I will tell you right now that it is worth it. $30 is a bargain to get a working phone back. It now takes three seconds to open up iMessage rather than 19. It takes five seconds to open up a note in Evernote down from 30. Google Calendar still takes way too long, but that's its own issue. It's definitely not as fast as it once was, but it makes my phone usable again, which buys me some time before I feel like I need to upgrade. So Apple did come out with a fix that they promised in iOS 11.3. I've downloaded this update, but since my battery is fully healthy, I don't need to use this beta feature. For those of you who don't have a new battery, once you install iOS 11.3, you can go to settings, scroll down to battery, then battery health, beta in parentheses. You can see that mine is at 100% capacity, but if yours is lower, you'll see this option, which allows you to, to disable Apple's slowdown feature, or as they call it, performance management. So let me know what has worked for you. Comments are always appreciated, and thanks for watching.